Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the new one from Metallica called Atlas Rise. So this is a part one. I'm going to split this into two videos. The next one will be released tomorrow. Um, now what we're going to be doing here all the way in this one is all the riffs all the way through up to the first guitar, well, the main guitar solo. And the second lesson will take care of the main guitar solo and all that big harmony section and the remaining riffs in the song. All right, so we've got a lot to go to go through here. We're in standard tuning. We, I'm going to be calling out each new section right at the minute and second mark that it occurs in the song so you don't get lost because there's a lot of little riffs to, to get down here. All right, so let's start with what I just played in this intro. It's based off of an A power chord. So you hit the A, open A power chord. And then you just hit the basically the open A string, you know, some palm you do with two downstrokes uh, in between it. So we have the A, and then you're gonna hit the, those two notes again. Back to the two mutes, and then one hit of the A. So we have this. All right, back to a little mute, and then we have this. Very similar to And Justice For All. Uh, so we have, uh, it's using fourths here. So we, we're gonna have this. There's, there's this ending, there's a full ending and a half ending. I'm gonna consider this the half ending. You'll see what I mean in a second. We're gonna have, we play the second fret on the D and the G, hammer on this third fret on both of those strings from it. You can use one finger. I like to use two. And then back to the twos and pull off to the open string for both the D and the G. So this. All right, so we're basically gonna do that four times. Now the fourth time, instead of doing this little, what I call the half ending, we're gonna do the full ending, which looks like this. All right, so we have this. So that's the same beginning. And then you're gonna pick all these notes, three on the A and the D, heavily palm muted, then two on those same two strings, then the open A and D, and then the third fret on the low E and the A together. All right, so all together for that riff. All right, now we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. Instead of happening four times though, it only happens twice. So the second time through the riff, we're gonna do the full ending. So the first time, half ending, second time, full ending. So it'll look like this. All right, so it's basically just half as long as what we just did. And then it starts the riff again, now this time we kind of do it like the second time where we just basically play the riff twice, half ending, and then we play the riff again and this time we're gonna have the full ending twice. All right, so it's a lot to think about there. So we basically have the riff four times with the half ending each time except for the fourth time. Okay, that's the half ending. So it's just basically cataloged like that four times with the full ending the fourth time. Then you play it two times with the full ending the second time there. So we're six times through the riff so far. And then two more times 
and that very last time you play the riff, you do the full ending twice. If you get used to the song enough, just listening to it over and over again, um, that is, you know, you'll just be able to lock in and know what's coming. So that's probably the best thing. You'll know the riff, right? All right, so then we have this at the 21 second mark. We have this riff, which is pretty easy. All right, so that's just uh, all downstrokes, palm muted on the open A string. And you're gonna do a pull off one to zero on the A. Then a couple more muted eight uh, open A strings. And then you're gonna grab this at the seventh fret on the D and the G together. And then the back to same ending. That little, the same as the intro riff there, just with the half ending there. So it just happens once. All right, and then we get to, at the uh, 32 second mark, we get to what I call the main riff of the song. It sounds like this. All right, so um, we're gonna do that riff four times and then just have the same ending to kind of same ending before. So what's this riff? So now we're down to the open E is what we're chugging on. A couple times. And they're gonna come to this power chord at the seventh fret on the A of the D string. So seventh fret there, ninth on the G. Play that, slide down two frets, then come over to the A string, fifth fret, power chord. Play that and move, slide up two frets. So you're gonna have the palm muted low E string twice between each one of those. All right, then back to the low E palm mutes, and then you have this. All right, so that's, so take the power chord off the sixth fret of the low E, slide down to five, then the third fret power chord, kind of slide into the open power chord. And then third fret power chord again, slide up to five, and then back three to zero. So we have this six, five, three, zero, three, five, three, zero. And then you're just playing the, the E uh, palm mute. And that's just the little one. Pulling off one to zero now on the low E over to the A power chord. So like I said, we're gonna do that riff four times and then end it with the same. After uh, coming out of the fourth time, like it's that, slides up to the five. That's when you're gonna jump up and uh, grab that little riff that we did in the intro. All right, now from there we have the verse, which is pretty simple too, except it's got a, kind of a strange timing at times. It sounds like this. It starts at the 53 second mark. Of the pre chorus, there. So it's just a plan on the low E string, all down strokes, heavily palm muted, and into this, pulling off one to zero twice on the low E, then grabbing the power chord, the A power chord. Do that again. Now the second half of the verse kind of does something similar. He just throws a little A power chord hit in there. So it sounds like this. So you can see that I'm jumping up to that A power chord halfway through it. 
And then we have this inning that leads us into the uh, pre-chorus. Now this pre-chorus riff, let me just show you here, we have this open D and G string together, then the second fret on both those strings, and then here, the third fret. Now he may be playing it here, because it allows you to do that big slide there that happens in the pre-chorus. Now this is at the 1 minute and 13 second mark. So I'm going to let you choose. Now it, it makes sense at the end to play it down here. The chord that leaves the, the last chord in the, in the uh, pre-chorus. But you can play this riff. Then, but you can also do it down here if you can get those slides in. So basically, those you decide where you want to play that. All right, so we're going to have this. I'll, I'll just play it down here to make it easy to get to the E chord. Open strings, second, then third. Those are the D and the G strings. Now, when you get there, slide it. Slide it off the strings. And then that's just the E power chord, playing the low E, and then coming over and hitting the A and the D string at the second fret together. Then we have this. And that's playing the threes. Pull off to the twos. Back to the three. Back to the slide. Then back to the E power chord. So it's just that. Now the last time you're going to want to be down here, open, not, not playing it here. Actually, the, they, each one might, be, one might be playing here and the other one down here. So that's probably how they're doing it anyway. So we have this. That takes us into the chorus. Now that sounds like this. Zero, the zeros and the twos, and then you're going to come to this C power chord off the uh, third fret of the A string but you're gonna add the G on the low E string with it. So you're barring across the fifth and the sixth string there with your first string area. And that takes us to the chorus. Let me play the chorus for you. Now the chorus has a harmony guitar part. So what I'm gonna play here is um, uh, basically James Hetfield's part, the lower harmony and the chorus that he's doing. All right, then we'll add Hammett's harmony part to it. So it sounds like this. All right, so we have um, that first chorus is a little bit, a little bit uh, shorter than the other ones. So we're gonna start here with the low E power chord. Then that's ten nine on the A string. Back to the ten, over to the nine on the D, and then ten nine on the A. And then you're gonna grab the power chord of the tenth fret of the low E. Try so this. Back to that same uh, melody line, and then to an open E power chord, which is just the E power chord here at the seventh fret. And you have the open strings around. Back to the melody, and then we have this. So that's just that power chord here on the low on the seventh fret of the A string to seven, nine, ten, six and then slide back to seven. And while in between those chords, he's, he's hitting the low E in there. And then you start over, same melody. Here though, second time through, take it down to the seventh fret power chord there off the low E string and then back. And now we're gonna end the chorus by moving up the same seven, nine, ten, except now adding the note, that same note on the adjacent sixth string as well. So we're gonna play that seventh fret, bar across to the seventh fret of the low E string. 
All right, and then we're back to the main riff. Now over that we have a harmony guitar line that comes in the second time through the chorus. So I'll just pick it up there. All right, so it's pretty simple there. It gets extended in the, the second and third choruses. Um, so just wait for that. So we have this. He plays the same melody line with James the first time through. Same. And then the second time, he adds this harmony on top. So that's just nine on the D, seven, nine, over to seven on the G, nine, seven on the D. And then back to that the same power chord there, the 10th fret then. Down to the seventh fret. And the same inning. And then we're back to the main riff. Now over that main riff at about the, uh, we have a little bit of a, a guitar solo there. So let me play through that guitar solo for you real quick. Um, it's short but sweet, so here we go. All right, so that's just based off of this, the E minor blues scale. Now we're gonna be doing a lot of double stops here. And as with a lot of bluesy solos, just getting it just right is a little bit difficult. Plus he uses a lot of wah all over the place. So it makes the notes a little bit hard. You gotta, you gotta use the pedal really to make the notes pop out. So we're gonna have, uh, that's real apparent in the main solo. So we're gonna start here. So that's just a little bending at the, the 14th fret on the G and the B together. Pull down, you can use two fingers if you want. Then 12 on the G, 14 on the D, and 12, 14 on the G. So we have this. All right, and now we're gonna do this bends at the 14th now three times. All right, so just three times there. All right, and now we're gonna do the bend one more time. And then pick up normal. And then 12 on the D, G, 14 on the D, 12 on the G. So let me play those three phrases together. All right, now the next phrase. So there's a little quick little lick in there and you just end it. So we're gonna do 14 on the D, 12 on the G. Then a bend there at the 14th fret on the G. 14 on the B, roll over to the, I'm sorry, 12 on the B, roll over to the 12 on the high E string. Then pull off 15 to 12 on the B. Then play 14, 12 on the G. So we have this. To 14 on the D, back to 12 on the G. And then we're back into those double stops again on the, the uh, G and the B together at the 14th fret. Do a double stop, then play them without the bend. And then you can play 14, 12, over to 14 on the D, and then grab that double stop. And just to end this solo real quick. So we have this. All right, so that solo is you know, very short. It's like, what is it, like five or six seconds long? But it's. Uh, that comes after when they go back into the main riff there um, in the song. All right, from there we go back to the verse, which is you know the same as the first verse. Um, then we go back through the pre-chorus, which is the same uh, as the pre-chorus before, and then we get back to the chorus again. Now this chorus is extended, so I'm going to play through once again James Hetfield's part first, and then I'll show you uh, Kirk Hammett's part.
All right, so I'm assuming that's uh, James Hetfield's part, at least. Somebody's playing it. So we're going to start with the same chorus riff. And once again, as you're starting that chorus riff the second time, the harmony part starts on top of it. And, uh, James continues to play this. Now here we're going to do a little extended version of this. We're going to go back to this riff. So we're not doing the notes with the, on the low E string here, even though this is the second time through the riff, because this is a longer chorus. So we have the, still this, just the standard power chords moving up. 7, 9, 10, 6, 7. Then repeat that 6 to 7. So we have this. And then you're gonna end it with the power chord adding the sixth the note on the sixth string. So let me just play for you that so you know what I'm talking about that. That was the second time. All right, from there we have the little harmony guitar part. So that's back to this riff. So I'm just going 10, 9, 10, over to 9 on D, then 10, 9, and then start over. And then as you start going down the A, A string, 10, 9, 10, 7, a 9, 7, 9, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7. So this. And when you get to this note, it's just playing it just like a. He's doing it here. Which is 7, 5, 7, over to 5 on the D, then 7, 5. So it's basically three notes. So we have this. And then from here, after you've done that, that riff twice there, we have this. That's just seven five seven five four five four two four. So and then we just have two zero. And then power chords three five seven off the low E string, and then three five that takes us into the next riff. All right, so just head fill harmony part real quick. All right, now for Hamlet's harmony part. So remember, it comes in the second time through. Right here. All right, so we're gonna just then we get he goes into this little, it's the same little harmony part. So we have this. So this is where it changes. When we did the extending. In Hetfield's part, Hammett does this. So that's five, seven, nine on the D to four. Hit a couple times, slide to five, and then do the same thing, eight on the G. Slide to nine. And then you do the same meaning, adding the power chord note on the low E string. All right, and then that harmony part starts, which is basically this. Famous when uh, some Headfield or Hammond gets down here, the other one goes back up and starts. 
So basically, it's the exact same riff. It's just as you when you get to here, somebody starts over. Let's look at this. So somebody continues this right here, and the other one jumps up and starts over. And when they get here, five four. That's that three five six. That's where they're at. So that's basically all you're doing. You're starting the rip the same way, and when that one gets down here at the seven, you, you, the other one jumps up and starts over. So then they're playing in harmony as they go down, and you just continue to play the rip the exact same way again. When you get here, you're going to be where the lower harmony was doing that, and they jump in, grab that. So once you get used to the song and the harmony parts, I'm sure you'll be able to understand it pretty easy. I have one more riff I'm going to show you in this part one video, and this is based off of an E power chord. It sounds like this. All right, so that happens at the three minute and eleven second mark, and it's the riff that's going to start the guitar solo. Um, uh, which I'm going to break down all the riffs underneath the guitar solo in the next video when we actually teach the guitar solo. So let me just play this. It plays by itself a little bit off the low E. So you're hitting these two strings, the A and the D string, with the second fret there, the low E power. We have this. That's pulling off one to zero on the A string, over to three on the low E, back to the open A. So it's Back to that riff, and then, and what's going? You're gonna play the power chord to the third fret, then pull off to the open low E. You can release, release the pressure there on the pinky if you want. Back to the, back to the power chord, and then pick it, slap the five, back down to three. All right, so in the next, in part two of this, well, I'll uh, give you guys tomorrow, we're gonna start with the guitar solo and finish out the running, that little cool little harmony section, the musical interlude, it's pretty cool. I'll see you then.